Hey everybody, Kelly from Kelly's Craftwork here. I'm here to tell you a little bit about the world of crochet. There are many things to go with crochet. Number one being the crochet hook. Dun dun dun! Alright, this bad boy that I use here, let me get this in here. This is a boy aluminum hook. You can get them in a set at big box stores, Walmart, Target, well, not so much Target. Hobby Lobby sells them. If you have a Hobby Lobby, Michaels, uh, Joanne Fabrics, even your mom and pop shops and your, you know, maybe in your downtown area, they should have some too. Um, support your local yarn shops. They're great. I love them. All right. So, the di and I have actually two different brands here of aluminum hooks. I have a Susan Bates and a Boy. Susan Bates, well, I like their their butt end because it's smooth and rounded. I'm not a huge fan of the heads. They're all right. You know, they're not my favorite thing to use, but I learned on Susan Bates, so that could be why. And uh, when I learned how to crochet, I did it all wrong. I use, I use my fingers to pull over loops instead of using the hook. It took me, you know, it took me a little bit to gain the confidence to try it, you know. Try pulling through. Try it, you know. All you're going to do is if you screw up, you just have to do one more stitch. It's not like knitting where you drop a drop a, 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 a stitch and you're like, oh my god, i got to rip out the whole thing. No, I have more confidence in my crocheting than I do in my knitting. <laughs> so, and then the boy hooks... I'm not a big fan. They have a little bit of a pointy tip at the end. So sometimes that rubs my hand, like right in here when I hold it. But the heads, the hooks, this part, I like it. I, they're quick, easy. They don't snag the yarn too much. I mean, these ones don't either, but, you know, it's all personal preference. Um, they make bamboo ones. I haven't tried those yet, and they make... Um, plastic ones. I haven't tried those ones yet either. I have aluminum's the way to go in my book. All right, I have a couple other ones to show you before I show you how to stitch this guy right here. All right, so number one is the crow hook. So this crow hook, I have just have a big one here, it is a crochet hook on one end and one on the opposite end facing the other way. These guys, I've been wanting to learn how to do curl hook, but I have not figured out how to do it yet. So once I do, I will share my knowledge with you. Um, or if you guys know already know how to do it, please show me how to do it. <laughs> I want to learn. But I know it's good for doing Tunisian crochet with two colors. So you do one, the forward pass in one color and then back uh, on the opposite end with a different color. That much I do know. All right, so Tunisian crochet or Afghan hook. Uh, so it's crochet hook, super long, and a, it has a butt end. Or, you know, sort of like a knitting needle. I'd like to call it the butt. Because pretty much it is. Because your, all your loops will butt up against that. So these are good. Um, Tunisian crochet, I'll do a tutorial on Tunisian crochet. It makes up a nice thick fabric. Um, I personally like to do the knit stitch in Tunisian crochet that is really nice and thick and warm. All right, and then this is an even bigger Tunisian crochet one. And this is a, this is just an eye hook. You know, the size is eye. But these are nice too. I like those. All right, and then one that I really like to use is the Big Bertha that I like to call. It's big, plastic, it's a Q hook. These are great for using, I like to use either, you know, the super bulky yarn or two or three strands of worsted weight together. That makes up a nice, thick fabric, and it's super warm. I've made a dog bed out of it. I love it. I love using this one. This one, I think, actually... I wonder if I can get it close enough. You can see, maybe. My cat has been chewing on this one. Silly Toby. All right. 
you'll hear about Toby a lot because he's my silly, silly orange cat. All right, and then the other thing is yarn. Right now, I have some worsted weight yarn right here. This is Red Heart. Um, Red Heart is a this is acrylic. You can tell because it's a little scratchy, but Red Heart acrylic it softens up real nice in the washer. Um, pour in, you know, when you wash your stuff, you know, wash it with light colors if you want. Put in a cup of apple cider vinegar. Throw it, in, and then when you throw it in the dryer, throw in a dryer sheet. It softens up so nice. So that's right, that. that. And, then and then I have a sampling of super bulky yarn. So this is something I knit up already. It's a cowl. And this is actually two strands of super bulky yarn knitted together in just a um, stockinette. And this is wool, a wool-based one. And this is wool I got at Walmart, and it's super nice. I like this. This is this is good for crocheting, knitting. It's very good. And then I found my favorite yarn. This is also super bulky. And this is alpaca. It is amazing. It is so soft. I can't say enough about this. And this is another cowl. Um, these are cowls, and you fold them so it looks like that. And it's based on the cowl from the show Outlander, which is a great show, by the way. All right. So for now, we're going to stick to just our regular old waist, wor wasted, worsted weight. And let's get crocheting.